here you have a rattlesnake, a very sweet one, a very nice one. And I've been trying to show the differences in their pattern. You see how he has diamonds on his back? So they call him diamond back, can you see? But up by his neck, you see how he also has them, except for a very, very short stripe. See how it runs all the way up? Oh, you know, Chandler said something interesting today. He said, you know, pretty much all the rattlesnakes in the Americas are just derivations of diamondbacks. And for the most part, I'd agree with that. But they don't always have the same neck. So you can see how he has a little stripe. The ones as you go farther south, you know, in the United States, we have the Mojaves, we got the Atrox, the Western Diamondback, the Eastern Diamondback, the Blacktail, there's a bunch, you know, 26 main ones. But, you know, as you go farther south, when you get to Mexico and you look at the Yucatan rattlesnakes, you go down to Venezuela and you see, you know, the Otokoan rattlesnakes, or you see, you know, like mine, the Zabcan rattlesnakes, or, um, the Guadico rattlesnakes, uh, it's a whole bunch. When you see them, or Mexican blacktail is a good example compared to regular blacktail, you see like their diamonds are more like a stripe, right? So it's interesting how things evolve, and who even knows if they evolved or they're just variegated, meaning that maybe they're just different colors and stripes because they're in different regions. I don't know. You know, what I know is that they look very different. And some are actually a lot more toxic. Of course, others are less toxic. Some are neurotoxic, some are hemotoxic. That shit is fascinating. You know, how could they look so similar and yet be so different? You know, but they do. Chandler's right about their appearance. Like, they all sort of seem like derivatives of these diamond effects. But, you know, maybe they're not. I could be wrong. I'm just talking about appearance today. But I find them just lusciously beautiful. Can you see? And he's going to the shed soon. Boy, is he hungry. Yeah, he doesn't like mice, though. There's a mouse here. He senses it. But he really wants a rat. He doesn't eat mice. He just, when he's a baby, he did. He just wants a rat. <laughs> he's going for it now. But notice he's not going for me. He knows the difference. He's a good boy. All right, folks. Happy New Year to everybody.